Um, here it is. I'm, I'm recording this uh, this afternoon. It's about 4.30 Eastern time, and uh, a lot of races have not yet been decided. And certainly the uh, final outcome of the presidential race has not been decided. That's going to take a while. I think we all know that. Um, well, most of us, not the orange bastard in the White House. But um, yesterday was a haze to me. I have no idea what happened. Uh, I had a friend take me uh, to the surgery center and a fr friend bring me back, most of which I don't remember. You know how it goes. If you've had surgery before, you know that you don't remember uh, anything, especially when you have your good friend Versed coursing through your veins. But I do remember being brought home yesterday afternoon about 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, and um, the television was on. Molly was trying to watch the... Uh, uh, the, uh, the vote totals as they piled up while she was doing homework. And I vaguely remember seeing her sitting on the couch with a worried look on her face. Well, this morning when I woke up, I could understand why. So here we are. And, and, and the question that I have right now, and I, I, I can't get past it. Looking at the television uh, a few minutes ago, 66, 66 million people have voted for Trump. This is a part I, I, I can't get my mind around. Uh, I realize that some of us feel a certain way about politics more to the left. I realize some of us feel a certain way about politics more to the right. But 66 million people voting for a, 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 a wasted human life like Donald Trump. I can't, I, I swear to God, I can't understand that. And as it stands right now, about 69 million people have voted for Biden. But 66 million of us. And, and, and I think I can't help but, but ask myself the question, how did we get to this point where almost half the population of this country is willing to vote for someone who has destroyed and continues to destroy the very ideas on which this republic was founded. I can't understand that. So rather than try to understand it, I realize I've got to accept it. There's nothing I can do about it except to take a look at it and stand in awe of how crazed we've become as a people regarding the foundational documents of our country, the foundational ideas that we've never quite lived up to, in some instances uh, far distant from living up to them. But for 66 million people to want to trash the Constitution of the United States, which is what a vote for Trump means, it's just staggering. And like I said, I keep coming back to, how did we get to this point? How did this happen? How did we get off the rails so far that we're in this position? Um, and, and I've said this before also, Donald Trump is certainly not the uh, originator of this horror. He is only, uh, I, I presume, the final outcome of this horror, of, of, of the misdirections that we have gone over the past 40 or 50 years, maybe longer, until we finally produced a worthless, rotten human being like Donald Trump to lead the country. It's staggering. But I, I think it brings home to me very clearly that the experiment in self-governance, the experiment in democracy, that the framers laid out for us 230-some years ago, is over. It's essentially over. We are going to stagger our way now into either a, a, a form of vicious fascism led by Donald Trump and, and his, his supporters, or into a form of, of crippled democracy led by 
um, Joe Biden. And I say crippled democracy, not necessarily because that's what he wants, but because given the division in the country, how, how is a man like Joe Biden going to lead? How is a man like anybody going to lead or a woman? How? How's it going to happen? So those are our choices as I see it. And, and I know that sounds real negative, but it also, to me, sounds very realistic. We are heading into a form of, 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 of fascism that is different from past fascisms and fascist governments, but has at its core the same ideas, the same principles of fascism, either that or crippled democracy that is going to barely function. And this country's going to pay the price. I mean, this is so goddamn sad. It, it really, really, really brings me to the verge of crying of tears, tears of anger, tears of, of rage, tears of sadness, that it's come to this. But it has. Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com, and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.